Hey, this is Matthew with BI Polar. In this Q2 check-in and intermission, I'm gonna share some exciting news and point you at a resource that has been invaluable to me and my career growth. I hope you'll stay with me. Welcome back. If you're new to the channel, make sure you check out the introductory video where I talk about my goals and Maggie's goals for the series. I've been at Microsoft for about 15 years uh, in various PM roles. And basically I wanna share with everybody like the things that I wish someone had taught me back when I first started off as a PM at Microsoft. And both Maggie and I want you to be more successful than I've been. So we've been sharing tips and tricks and advice and all the things for six months now. We're halfway through the year and I basically wanted to check in to share some exciting news or at least exciting to me. I'm taking July off, so I'm going on hiatus. There won't be another video until sometime around early August. Basically, I started off the calendar year with around three months or so of videos already recorded, I spent some time on my Christmas vacation uh, giving myself a head start and work, life, and all these other priorities have caught up. I'm out of videos. And I know that I can't meet my existing priority commitments while continuing to put out a new video every week. Uh, like obviously I don't put a ton of work into these, but it still does take work that I don't have time for. Until next time, I actually want to empower you with a resource that has been incredibly useful for me, and this is Lenny's Podcast. So Lenny's Podcast is available on YouTube, which is where I watch it. It's where I'm gonna put the link in the, uh, uh, the blog post in the description below. I assume that it's available on Spotify and Apple Podcasts and other podcasty sources. I like it on YouTube because sometimes there are diagrams or other resources that we'll share but essentially Lenny is a veteran product manager. He worked at Airbnb and other cloud era startups. Uh, he's done a bunch of things, but he's really found his sweet spot in learning from others and helping them share what they know. The basic format of the podcast is he brings in a guest where they are uh, an author, a leader, like someone that's done incredible things and is willing to share their advice and their insights. And throughout the course of what's usually an hour or so, like the short ones might be 40 minutes, the long ones might be an hour and a half, but in the course of the conversation, he helps them talk about the things that they're experts on or the things that they're passionate about and in a way that they're often generalizable advice. For all of the learning that I've done this year, Lenny's podcast has really been at the core of it and I wanna share with you the three things that I do to learn from Lenny's podcast. The first one, I learn from Lenny himself. Lenny is an incredible interviewer. It's obvious that he is prepared. Uh, he knows who he's talking to. He has an idea for where he wants to go, but the way that he so subtly drives the conversation, he follows up, he paraphrases, he summarizes, he asks for clarity. These are skills that every PM needs just for this proactive learning. Like, how are you gonna learn from customers if you can't drive a good conversation or a good interview? Watching a master at work, it's really impressive, even though it's very understated. His style is very different from mine, but despite that, I've learned a lot simply from watching Lenny work. The second way that I learn from Lenny's podcast is I learn from each guest. Uh, each one of them has a background and experience and a perspective that is different from mine, but in a lot of ways they will overlap with mine and it's simply a matter of looking for that intersection. One of my favorite learnings from the very first episode that I watched, the guest was a designer, like he was someone who was running a design team and one of Lenny's questions, which he'd gotten from a, a follower on social media, was something to the effect of like, well, how do you get funding? Like, how do you ask for headcount? I run a design team and I never have enough people. The guest's answer, I'm paraphrasing roughly six months later, 
But the guest's answer was essentially like, I never ask for a headcount. Other people ask for a headcount for me because when they come to me asking for help with design stuff, if I am not able to help them like I really want to, but my team is fully committed, when I go back to them and say no, then they go to my manager, they go to my leaders to say like, I need more resources from, uh, from the design team. This is where headcount comes from. It's a ninja move. And it's one of those things that I've looked for ways to apply for my team, which has a very similar shared services role to a design team. So every guest brings in their unique perspective. Every guest brings in their frameworks, their lessons, their successes, their failures. And the format is such that it's easy to follow their stories and take a gem or two away from each of these interviews. The third way that I learn from Lenny's podcast is through the books that each guest recommends. At the end of each interview, Lenny talks about like, oh, it's time for our super exciting lightning round. So I don't know if it's actually super exciting, uh, but it's very consistent and valuable. And he asks questions like, like, what are the books that you recommend the most to people? Or what's your favorite interview question? Like if you're hiring, there's lots of gold there. But five or six of the work-related or work-adjacent books that I've read this year, like almost all of them, have been recommended by his guests or authored by his guests, where I've heard someone talk about what they do and how they work. And like, I need to learn more than I can get from this one conversation. Here's the deal. Building expertise requires constant learning and ongoing exposure to diverse new ideas, perspectives, and for being a PM, Lenny's podcast is as good as it gets. I love the fact that you're here. Like we're six months into the year and you are at least seven or eight minutes into this video, right? So obviously you're getting some sort of value from the stories that I'm sharing but I have one voice. I have one life worth of lived experiences. There is only so much that I can bring in and share. Lenny's podcast, the format and the incredible set of guests that he brings in, it really provides the breadth and depth of input that you can use to be what you need it to be in the moment. So for what you need today in your life at this point in your career, Hopefully you'll come back when I resume my videos in August, hopefully. But until then, I will be watching Lenny's podcast each week. I hope that you will as well. And I hope that it will open up the doors for you to realize if you want to be a PM at Microsoft, or if you want to succeed as a PM at any organization, you need to be a constant learner, not just learning from your customers about their needs and uh, the opportunity that that represents, but also learning about being a PM. Lenny's podcast is the best resource that I've found, both for what it delivers directly and the doors that it opens as pointers for follow-up detailed learning. Either way, I'm really looking forward to my hiatus, gonna take some downtime, hopefully get back ahead of my video backlog. So this will be the only hiatus that I take during the calendar year. Either way, I hope that you have a delightful July and I will see you next time. Take care.